Hey guys, I'm back to streaming. No, I'm just kidding. I just want to show you the new extension we've made. MTGA Assistant. You can see it right here. Now, we spent a lot of time on... Uh, so I'm just playing with Sparky now. Don't mind my place. I should have cats in there. I don't know why I, I play the Witches of them. So this extension has several things added to it. One of them is deck tracking, which you can see here. Concentrating on making this really compact and smooth and not intrusive into the um, in the game itself. Uh, well, let's. And as you can see, every time I draw a card, uh, the, the percentages updates and. Uh, Play that, play that. So you can draw my next card. Midnight Reaper. Let's find Midnight Reaper. And you can see that I have three left in my library out of a total of four. And it's 6% chance to draw this uh, at my next uh, draw. Uh, the thing is that you can't... I haven't added any toggles for these. I, I just want it to be... One. I don't want it to be a lot of toggles and buttons that you can customize and stuff. I just want to keep it smooth and clean and like one type of view. Uh, before this, I had a view where the uh, there were two lines, basically. I found that that was... It was a bit... Um, it didn't turn out well when you had a big deck list. Like in draft, uh, you usually have a lot of unique cards. And the list like went too far and when that happens uh, it adds a scroll bar which is not it doesn't look really good so i think yeah, we'll try with this new one liner instead instead of the two liner like i might add a thing where it changes the uh the way it looks when you have uh, less than x amount of cards uh, that is uh, completely possible but for version number one uh, it won't be like uh, like that. So, I think we can take a look at the uh, collection system. So I will show off the deck tracker, which is here, and also the collection system. We also have a draft helper, which is actually done, but I'm not in the middle of a draft right now, so I don't, I don't really care to, enough to show it off. <laughs> and I'm lazy. Uh, this extension will probably be released... Well, in, within a week or a maximum of two, I want it to be released before the uh, Theros uh, release happens or the pre-release. So we can see the MTJ Assistant up here. I probably, I'm probably going to change this to say main instead of settings because I want this to pop up with uh, some information from MetroHub instead of the settings and then have different panes. So there are some toggles here. Uh, this doesn't do anything yet. I, we haven't built the opponent revealed cards yet. It is something we can do in the next version. We probably don't have time to do that right now. But the most interesting thing here is the collection screen. And this, this works directly in the client. You don't have to go to an external site to see your collection. I spent a lot of time on this and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So here you can see an overview of all the sets I've collected. So, and there's also, I also grouped other sets into the other category. Uh, the other category is basically sets that, that has less than 50 craftable cards. And like one card is four cards in quantity because you can, you can redeem four of it. So one card counts as four. And all of these sets are sets with less than 50 craftable cards. So basically set it so that uh, this set the built-in Aina set uh, is uh, is kind of the uh, I, I think that has about seventy craftable cards or something, so that's basically the standard. While these other ones, uh, some of these sets only have like four craftable cards. I I didn't want like a, a huge list list of these, and to be honest, like these are fringe sets. Nobody really care about. All we care about are the big sets. And there's probably going to be a lot more, uh, seeing that they're going to try to support Pioneer. And we also have a collection screen where you can see the total amount of colors that you've collected. This is colorless, and this is multicolor, and these are lands, and you have rarities. And you also have uh, an own progress bar for the 
non-craftable cards. Uh, this I think this starts at around 70 or 75 percent. There are a lot of not craftable cards that you already own. Most of these are basic islands or basic islands, basic lands. Why did I say island? I don't like island. I like mountain. Uh, we also have a progress by unique cards and a total collection progress, like an overall progress. And I also have your stats here. Uh, there are some misses here uh, that um, I need to fix. Like I don't think the gem thing updates when you buy gems. Uh, it updates when you, you get them in rewards and stuff. Uh, I also think there are some... Uh, well, I basically don't want to... If there's too much work, I don't really want to... to I might remove some of these uh, because I don't want to be in a position where wizards do a change to the log and then nothing works and we have to fix a lot of stuff. I'd rather have some core functions we need to fix rather than the whole thing. Uh, and the reason we waited, like um, the primary reason we waited uh, this long to make an MTDG extension is that it takes a lot of work and uh, during the beta, uh, there was a lot of changes to the log, and I don't re didn't really. I concentrate on things I call like evergreen functions. Like when I make something, I don't want to to come back and remake it later because it don't work and there are issues with it. I want to concentrate on things that uh, just works forever. So like most of the things we've made on Nitro Hub, um, it's still there. I I can't think of any functions that we have removed we have only added functions uh, so that's what i have been concentrating on up until now and i'm also surprised that i we had to make this collection tracker because i thought this was something like obviously wizard is going to add in their client but they haven't so okay we've made it <laughs> i don't like you having to go to an external site to look at your collection I'm not sure why other trackers don't have it directly. I Maybe it's to drive site traffic, I'm, I'm not sure. I think we have other ways to drive site traffic, like uh, I want to have data from Interhub displayed in, in the client and you might want to go to the site to look at more details and we can show you uh, some details here in the client. Uh, and we also have a draft tracker, as I said, uh, uh, you will have to, well, I will, I will reveal all of it uh, when we are uh, ready for the release and also have a link to the download. So there's no way to download this right now. And uh, like, I appreciate you guys reaching out and asking if you want to help um, testing the, uh, this extension. Uh, right now it's not possible. Uh, there's only two two modes. It's dev mode and it's um, and it's uh, release. That's basically it. So if I would have you test, you would have to be added as devs. But I think we're fine. Uh, so I've tested a lot and I think I've I played so much arena that I basically know all the caveats. I think at least most of them. So we'll see when it releases. So we're probably gonna we're gonna keep a um, good eye on it on the uh, and if you have feedback you will have to leave it in our Discord channel like discord.etrohub.com. Other things, yeah, on Monday, which is tomorrow, we have a spoiler card. I really look forward to revealing that, and I'm gonna gradually spoil it like every hour. So I'm gonna start like well, when am I gonna start? I don't know the US time, but I'm gonna start. Early in the morning, I think, for you US guys, I'm going to reveal a part of it every hour and it's going to be like 10 reveals or something. And I'm also going to include a code with each reveal, an MTG Arena code, which you can redeem. Uh, so I have some 1000 EXP uh, codes left and I also have some alternate uh, card art uh, codes left, which I'm going to publish with the, um, the uh, image every hour. And it's going to be spoiled on the front page. So we'll see it on the front page. So keep hitting that F5 right at the uh, right at the uh, moment the uh, hour is what do you call it the hour is full. <laughs> Other things, yeah, a lot of work has gone into APIs on Etherhub for uh, pulling data. So I pull. Uh, well, you'll see it on the loading screen. You'll see data from Etherhub like the top uh, cards in standard, historic, and brawl. 
Uh, you'll also see the top uh, archetypes and decks. Uh, I also have some bugs on Etherhub, like uh, the navigation bar was a bit bugged. It bugged over the login, um, the login page and the, uh, or not the page, but the login dropdown. And uh, we also have it bugged over card prices, so that's been fixed. If you guys see anything, tweet at me or um, tell me on the Discord. Like all of, the, mostly all the bugs on Etherhub, I I discover by myself. Uh, because nobody, I am pretty sure that people see it, but I don't know if they think we've seen it. Like if you see a bug, it is usually because, or it is, it is because we haven't discovered it really. I hate bugs and I crush them as soon as I see them. And I usually take down the site for a couple of seconds to push a fix if the, if it is critical. We also have an issue with YouTube thumbnails not loading correctly. So that has been fixed. Uh, and also we add spoiler cards. Uh, after each day is done and all the spoiler cards are revealed, I add them into the database. Um, we also have some backend improvements for spoiler cards. So they are quick, uh, quickly added to the deck builder. Uh, before we had to clear the whole cache of the whole site, which slowed the site down tremendously at the start um, that is now fixed so i can specifically clear each catch cash i need to cash and also some other needs i'm also working full time on etherhub now so i have a 10 percent commitment to my work every month uh, it's actually i can actually split it up more than that so it's actually not even 10 percent if i want to uh, so I work full time uh, and I also I've saved up a lot of money to be able to live for a year without any income. So eTrub generates some money but I think it's a waste to take out money from the eTrub company. I want to use the money to grow the site instead and see how, how big we can build it instead of taking it out as a salary. It's, that's basically the best way to kill a company before it's even started growing is having to take out money. So um, the money we've uh, earned so far with ads and stuff, we've used to purchase ads and I'm going to buy a lot of ads for the uh, M2GA assistant uh, extension. Uh, and um, we also spent a lot of money sending merchandise to content creators and some people in our Discord. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, other than that, yeah, and I also made a Patreon. And the cool thing about, I wonder, like, what could I do on my Patreon to to give something to people who sub to me? And um, I decided to make everyone who subs for a $4 every, or pledge uh, $4 every month will get a free Etrum premium. So you get, you pledge $4 and you get $3 back in value. And I also think uh, we will... Uh, try to combine the premium on eTrub with some premium stuff inside of MTJ Assistant. So you will not have to use, uh, have an eTrub user to use this extension. Uh, you can just install it without, without anything. Like we pull data from eTrub, but you're not required to log in or anything like that. Now, all of this is local. Uh, and we will perhaps make a little thing where we pull decks or we send decks to Etherhub anonymously. Uh, like if you go 7-0 in an event, we might send a deck list to Etherhub and add it to... Like we are missing some best of one uh, metadata and uh, this is a good way to, to get that. Like we can send 5-0 or 7-0 decks to, to Etherhub and track them. Uh, we won't send anything else. We won't send your username or anything like that. Well, there's no user login here. So, but we don't want to send your MTGA username or anything like that. We want it to be anonymous. Uh, we won't even send the name of the deck because I know a lot of you guys like like me like to just make silly names on their decks. So it wouldn't make any sense to to send in the deck names. So we have to figure out another way to name the deck. The decks need to have a name. So I'm not sure how we are going to solve that. Maybe just name them by color or something. I'm not sure. That might look a little silly after a while. Um, and it would be really hard to make like a archetype tag, which like automatically... Uh, well, it, it might be possible, at least for mid-range 
an aggro let's looking at the mana curve and just deeming if the deck is an aggro deck or not but it's basically really hard to differentiate between mid-range and control i think yeah but this is all for this week so i'll um, see you next week and hopefully we will have something more for the mtj assistant um, extension uh, i'm already done building a new site for it so the new website is done it's not published yet it's going to be separate from Etherhub. we wanted a site where people can go and look at like we wanted the um, deck tracker to be easier to find so it's uh, harder to find it if you just put it inside of Etherhub. so that's uh, why we wanted to separate it on a different site so until next time guys have a happy new year and uh, let's work hard in 2020